the Stafford Voice. Four VA employees resign after a Vietnam veteran dies with maggots crawling in his wound. This is absolutely disgusting and disturbing beyond anything you can imagine. Where should we, where do we even start with this? Uh, Owen Reese Peterson, a 73 year old Vietnam veteran. John, I warned you, keep your cool. A 73 year old Vietnam veteran initially went to the Oklahoma VA for an infection, which later ended up as sepsis. If you don't know what sepsis is, it's a condition in which chemicals would, that are released by, by the immune system into the bloodstream to fight an infection trigger an inflammation throughout the body. It, it, it damages multiple organs uh, and its systems, uh, basically leading them to fail and commonly resulting in death. Miles Deering, the director of the Tallahina, Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs Center, confirmed the maggots found did not enter the wound after Peterson's death. They were present while he was still alive. He also stressed that uh, Peterson quote, did not succumb as a result of the parasites. He succumbed as a result of the sepsis. Peterson's son, Ramey Parker, described his frustration with how poorly his father was treated, saying, quote, during the 21 days I was there, I pled with the medical staff and senior medical staff to increase his meds so his bandages could be changed that he was, quote, uh, met with a stone wall for much of that time. The result of all of this is that four staff members have resigned in the wake of the investigation, a, physician, a physician's assistant and three nurses. Jessica, I'm warning you, put that glass of wine down. I will fully expect you to probably toss it because of this this story. This is outrageous. Deering said that the agency reported the incident to the Oklahoma State Department of Health and also submitted a report to the district attorney to see if charges are warranted. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my word. Listen, the... The fact that we even need to submit a report to the district attorney to see if charges are warranted is beyond me. Somebody's head needs to roll. I Listen, whoever it was that was responsible for allowing that man to live out his last few moments of life with maggots in a wound? Oh, my word. There are so many different things I would like to do or see done to you that would make waterboarding look like something you see on a kindergarten playground, on a, on a kindergarten playground. Oh, my word. And as a matter of fact, I'm seeing people in the chat room, Brian and Jessica, both say that they would like to see Pete Hegseth as a good choice for the head of the VA. I would echo that as well. Hegseth is a, is a fine, fine gentleman. Uh, and actually, I don't have his quote pulled up, but he had a fantastic quote about this, and, and it just nailed it to the bone. Oh, uh, 
the person uh, let's see john says he's always said that the va exists to provide union jobs and union dues for political donations to the democrat party treating veterans is only a secondary and optional function uh let's see brian says um veteran was sepsis which is further enraging i completely agree there is no reason that it should have gotten that far uh, Jessica says the person in charge needs to be charged with murder. Completely agree. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. The VA needs to be abolished and replaced with doctors that were former service members. Mm, I, I could see that. Um, let's see. Brian says, I say those four need to be keelholed. Oh. See, I've been to two of his concerned Veterans of America rallies. He's a class act. I completely agree. I've kept my eye on Hegseth for quite a while. And when he talks, I, I listen. Oh, anyway, where did we leave off with this? Oh, how Nimwad decided he thought that he needed to submit a report to see if charges were warranted. Uh, that's a great idea. The whole VA should be staffed with vets and spouses. I, I like the addition of the spouses. That's a great, great touch because these spouses would never allow something like this to happen. Oh, so Deering also said that the agency is considering moving from the facility as it is nearly a hundred years old, adding that fixing the existing structures would take millions of dollars. Now, this is on the heels of Deering accepting a $15,000 bonus in the month of November. But mm, that's the hush-hush moment. We don't want to talk about that. Um, let's see. If it was Honestly, if it was that bad, you wouldn't have accepted the bonus. But you're just as guilty as the next guy. Uh, let's see. I completely agree, Brian. Trump really does need to choose a five-star VA head. Um, I don't know who that could be. I I don't even want to begin speculating, only because he has thrown out so many different wild cards in some of um, the spots that he has started to pick. Uh, he is blazing a trail. I mean, he is... He is so far ahead of the pace that previous presidents have set on uh, getting appoint appointments uh, set and who's going to be in those spots. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. John says, Arlie Ermey as new secretary of the VA. Uh there's a solid guy. He wouldn't put up with any crap. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? The DA seems to drag its feet investigating other government agencies. They do. I mean, this. Listen, we've we've talked about so much corruption and distrust, and acts like this only are another exclamation mark at the end of a long list of atrocities by way of the VA. It, this is beyond ridiculous. Uh, let's see. So let's continue. Uh, Oklahoma State Senator Republican Frank Simpson, who is the Oklahoma chairman of Oklahoma State chairman of the Senate Committee on Military and Veterans Affairs, says this, uh, quote, the Oklahoma Department of Veteran Affairs is required to maintain certain staffing levels and currently is unavail unavailable, unable, I'm sorry, to meet them. At Talahina, they had to reduce the population of veterans there due to the inability to staff the facility. That's no excuse. No excuse by any means. <laughs> 